Hello there everyone, my name is Rose Monkey and welcome back to 12 Nights of Terror 2017 edition, night 11, and a game called Lavender. Now, uh, this is another RPG Maker game. Uh, I don't know much about it, but I recognise this music. And I can't remember where I know this music from. I've played a game with this music in before. Um, all I know about this is it was made for a horror pixelated jam. And... Um, it's possible to play this game without finding any horror in it. But um, we'll see if we can find some horror. Let's begin. Before playing, please be aware that this game contains potentially disturbing content. I'm counting on it, to be fair. For more details, please refer to README text for vague context warnings or content spoilers. No, 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 no. We don't want spoilers. We want to know. Uh, proceed with game. Oh, sure controls, yes. Movement arrow keys, enter space bar Z is confirm, cancel and X for escape. Okay, we'll keep the key the fingers on these keys and we will uh, we will continue. Show introduction. Yes. We want to know what we're getting ourselves in for. Clockwork Prince. Nice title. Nice name of a game studio there. Ooh, once upon a time. There was a young woman pregnant with her first child. She was very nurturing and made sure to take good care of both herself and the unborn. The unborn. That's the name of a horror film. One day she was strolling through the forest. She had gotten lost and became rather hungry. Worried about her baby, the woman tried to find something to eat. Is this Rapunzel? Soon she found a cottage in the woods with a modest garden next to it. This is Rapunzel. There, several trees and shrubs bore delicious fruits. And Rampion? The woman let out a sigh of relief and walked up to the garden. There she picked several fruits and started to eat. Okay, however, the owner of the garden was not happy with the young woman's indulgence. You see, the garden was grown with utmost care by the witch who lived in the cottage, Rapunzel. She had witnessed everything through the window. Just when the expecting mother was about to eat a third fruit, the witch approached her with a cold expression. How dare you eat from my garden? She snarled. Terrified, the trespasser vehemently apologised. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. But it was too late. To make up for your grave mistake, I require a tribute. A volunteer for tribute! The expecting mother bowed her head. I, I don't have anything of value, I'm afraid. The witch pondered for a minute, then replied, Your baby, that was the vice. How harsh would that actually be in real life? Wait, her baby? Oh no. Oh look, yes. This witch was selfish and cruel. She acted in a way that can't be forgiven. But what happened to the baby? Well, <laughs> maybe I'll tell you about that some other time. Close his book in face. Okay. Don't look so sour, it's your birthday. Are there lanterns out my window? I guess. Hmm. Oh, before I forget. Oh, I'm totally Rapunzel. Look at my hair. Happy birthday, Lavender. Well, I'm Lavender, but it's effectively Rapunzel. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to take good care of it. I'm glad you like it. Oh, look at the time. I'm sorry, Lavender, but I have to go now. Goodbye. It's okay. I had fun. I'm a small child. All right, I'll see myself out then. Yeah. This, uh... This is an interesting game. I'll come by for lunch around two. Until then, later, Mum. Goodbye, Mama. Let me explore my mischievous way. It's such a nice day. I'm Rapunzel. I'm infant Rapunzel though. And my present is so pretty. It would be a shame if I didn't use it. Right next to the window with my long hair. It's so stereotypical. Ah. Uh... Oh no. Oh, that wasn't a good ah. Uh. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no. Oh no, no, no. I dropped it. Oh, you, you, you special child. Mum will kill me. What will I ever do? I I have to get it back. How? Exactly. 
I'm guessing therein enters the game element. Yes. Oh, I'm so fast. Look at me go with my little legs. Lavender. Yes, that's me. I storybook. Am I pressing the no? I'm pressing the no key, not the yes key. Storybook. Yes. Yes, we, we saved. Okay. Turn to try to screen. No, 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 no. That's fine. I just wanted to double check. What? That sounds weird. Okay, the table is spotless. There's a long hair on the table. Obtained pink hair? Well, I suppose my hair is kind of pink. But so is everything, to be fair. I'm not sleepy. I'd love to paint something, but now is not the time. Okay, what about this? Oh, more squeaks. My room doesn't need to be cleaned. Can I go down here? Question mark. Mum didn't lock the door. She usually does. Ooh, I maybe I shouldn't. Well, what are you going to do? Let down your hair and climb out the window? There's no way I can leave the tower through that window. Unless I want to die a quick death, that is. Uh, I'd, be, I'd have to be crazy to jump out. Wait, 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 wait. No time to read right now. Oh, let me read. I want to, well. Okay. I'm going to test. I'm not jumping. Is it going to find your colors? <gasps> Game over. I can die. Death confirmed. I killed Rapunzel. Okay, let's just, um go out here instead uh slightly safer oh wow what's this nurture it's a painting of a mother and a child and what's this Ooh. what oh oh interesting so the flower needs a lot more time to grow okay well the middle one keeps dying Is there a special order I have to do this in? Okay, let's try it this way. Okay, we're onto something. Oh no, it wilted again. Okay, these two first, then the middle one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh no, it died again. Yay! There we go. That was tricky. So, wait, did I lock the door just by doing that? Look on the table reads, three flowers reaching to the sky, one quite tall and brittle, yeah, we noticed, one waiting with patience, and one quickly satisfied. Okay, the tall and brittle one was a pain in the butt. But we got there. Uh, let's have a look. Books, chess. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Well... Am I supposed to put the king into checkmate? This black searches for white. Where black to move, they would close in. White hides away for safety. Where white to move, they would certainly fall. So I have to put them in a predicament. Right. Oh! Oh, okay. Apparently that was it. Alright, I may have been spamming a few different suggestions to see if I could figure it out, but, um, yeah. Oh, these ones just talk about the different types of movements. Yeah, I already know that. They can just move wherever they want. So, yeah. Um, I may have been spamming a few different suggestions. I didn't expect it to actually be correct. Plea. It's a painting of two woman women, one begging the other. Well, I'm assuming that the begging woman is the mother. So, uh, oh, oh yes, I like things like this. So you have to figure out how heavy things are in relation to each other. So that's really light. How heavy is this? That, oh, that's really heavy. Can I, can I have this back? Can I have the squirrel back? Okay, what's heavier, this or this? Okay, that's heavier. The rabbit is heavier than this, maybe? No, we've tried that. So we'll try that. And then we'll try this. 
No, that's way too heavy. Okay, so the wolf and the squirrel equal the, I want to say boar, but between the rabbit and the fox, the fox has obviously got to be heavier, right? Yeah. So what about the squirrel of these two? Oh, there we go. Cool. Okay. We're geniuses. Oh, no. Oh, I love these kind of puzzles. These are really good fun. Right, this I can easily do. Because I'm awesome at these kind of puzzles. So, there. Ooh. I can't go there. I have to go this way. That way. These are easy. I've done so many of these in like so many different um, different games. Okay, Temptation. It's a painting of an idyllic garden. Oh wait, what's this? There's a long hair wrapped around the room. Contained pink hair. Oh. Wait, are there pink hairs in places that I haven't been looking for? I don't see where there could have been any other like hairs anywhere in here. And so far, this doesn't seem to be creepy either. Like, I'm not seeing the horror element of it. Oh, this got a bit darker. Commitment. It's a painting of a wedding. Interesting. What is this? Ooh. Ooh, yes. Yes, I like this. So... Is this just, like, connect the dots kind of thing? Like, connect all of the things together? I can't, like, change any of these around. So... That one? I guess? My finger's getting really sore from pressing this button over and over. Okay. That one goes there. That one goes there. That one goes there. Is that right? Is that all I had to do? I guess. What did this say? Book on the table reads, a bond for forever, sealed with golden rings. These hearts joined together, the fingers now bound. That's a bit hot and heavy sounding. Ah, future. It's a painting of a pregnant woman. Wait, what? A book about potion ingredients. Oh God. There are several common ingredients listed on the page. But there's an eyeball, an earwig and an eyeball, a durian, a beard tongue, a bear claw, and a chicken egg. Okay. A very special sketch on top of the table. There's a long hair among the potion ingredients. It contains another pink hair. Okay. Oh, do we have to order it? The book on the table reads, An embryo is forming, a flower blooms inside, Two insects crawling over the fruit of life that grows. Valley's eyes will open, each limb grows one sharp blade. With these all mixed together, they're finally complete. So, the embryo. So, baby flower, bugs, fruit, eyes, legs. Okay. So, baby, I guess, has to be... Oh no, the baby's the egg, isn't it? Still holding something. We'll drop it. Baby flower. Bugs and fruit, was it? I think it was bugs, fruit, fruit. Drop the fruit, eyes, and claws. The only one I'm a bit sure about the order is if I got the fruit and the insect right. I'm not too sure if I did. Yeah, so okay, that was apparently wrong. So it was the fruit then the insect? Or the insect then the fruit? I can't remember. But it says two bugs. Maybe that's why. Fruit. Eyes. That says two eyes as well. Eyes. So we'll try eyes. And I will try a claw. There might need to be more than one claw though. I think I'm on the right track. So, one embryo, one flower, two bugs, one fruit, two eyes, each limb grows one sharp blade. 
So how many claws is that? Hmm. I'm not really clear on how many eyes it is. Because it doesn't really specify two, I guess. But it's not one. Right? I mean, if you count the insects, I guess that could be like two eyes each but I don't even know if your wigs have like an eye or like a thousand eyes like a fly does I honestly don't know oh okay so it's just the embryo's legs not the bug legs that need the claws I guess that makes more sense um okay what there's a sculpture of a tree it's too heavy to move okay what look on the table reads three hearts have gathered one hidden, one brave. They both feel desire. The third unaware. So there's a princess and two people who love her, right? Oh, okay. Right, what does this read? Beginning. It's a painting of the three plants sprouting. Oh, yeah, okay. Right. Um, so, I guess you go there. Um, I have no idea where these characters should be, so I'm just going to guess and see if I am correct. I doubt it though. Um, door's locked. Okay, so that's wrong. So there's another rope over here. <gasps> okay, that resets it. I see. The only other combination of this then is you being behind the tree I guess because I've tried every other combination so you I guess we'll have to try that could be that it's not even there's um a tree at all there we go it it let me it, it, say, it accepted it accepted okay okay we out yay doing out here I I'm sorry I dropped my new comb out the window I I wanted to retrieve it before you get back is that so oh, lavender oh it's okay I'm not mad I'm sorry Debbie I was just surprised that's all we should just get back inside okay okay I brought lunch. Oh, thank you. Mama. This seems okay. The end. That. Okay. Is. That wasn't spoopy at all. Don't. What? There's gotta be more to it than that. Okay, this time I'm going to work really hard to find the hair everywhere. I'm assuming that there is um, some kind of special thing for finding each one. Let's see if I can remember how this goes. Yes. Yes. There we go. That's how you fill that pu uh, finish that puzzle. You've got to be really careful with that muddle flower, though. There's a blooming flower in the pot. There's nothing left to do with it. Blooming flower in the pot. There's a hair sticking out of the dirt. Okay. That's fine. So we got the hair for this one. Chest puzzle. Now, let's see if I can remember. Was it, like, there and there, I think? Or, like... I can't remember where this was. Oh, there it was. Okay. Oh, there it is. I had to read all the books until I found it, but I found the hair. Okay, now this. This one. 
Uh, maybe I have to finish the puzzle and then interact with the um, the thing at the end. I don't know. Turns out you actually can move these things backwards and forwards if you're careful with how you pick them up. Which I didn't know before. There we go, there's a hair on the scales. And in here the hair is on the rope, right? But you've got to finish the puzzle before you can get it off the rope, I guess. Alright. I really hope there's something actually legitimately creepy at the end of this, otherwise it's like a completely wasted exercise and uh, no horror at all. I mean, it's kind of like a weird feeling finishing all these puzzles knowing that at some point things could maybe go a bit wrong. I don't know. Especially this, this room has interesting music for sure. This puzzle's really not that hard, it's just really time consuming. Come here. Like, it takes ages to pick up all those little pins and put them in the right places. Okay, is there a hair draped over this? Weird contraption, several incomplete rings inside, and there is a hair. Good job. So, oh, this puzzle. Uh, I think the hair is just on here for this one. Yeah. All right. So we have an egg, a flower, two insects, get in there, two insects, a fruit, two eyes, I don't understand what the insects are for to be perfectly honest, and four bare claws. Is that three? I've lost count. And um, that should be it. Unless I'm stupid and I've got it wrong. I am not stupid, I did not get it wrong. Okay. Through nope, that's the book. We don't need to read the book again, it's fine. We we got it. We got it. Onward. Okay. Now if I remember rightly for this one, it was the princess behind the tree. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. Okay, let's try again. And this time let's not um, mess up everything. I can't remember if you're there and you're there or if it was the other way around. But we'll find out in a minute. So you're up here anyway. Alright. Yes, there we go. That was nice and simple. And uh, I think the hair is here. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh! Okay. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. The door doesn't want to open anymore. Um, there are spider webs. There are spider webs now. Ooh. There's a cracked floor. Three doors. Save. Save. I want to save, please. I, I, I can't. It's not letting me save. What is this? Why won't it let me save? Oh, real present. It's a painting of a bald woman holding a baby. Okay, there's a silver key on the table. Obtain the silver key. Okay. What's that? What is that? I don't understand. I don't understand. What? what? No, 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 no! I should have read the book! No! What? What is this? Oh! Wait, is it beating? This is... Oh! Mum? 
So it came to this. What am I? I don't understand. Why? Why this? I don't expect you to understand. Why? Understand what? What is happening here? I'm sorry, Lavender. I don't think we will have any more birthdays together. What did she do to me? do this properly now. Sculpture of a tree, several nails driven into the trunk, attached to the pink hair to the nails. Have I missed one? I must have missed one. Four hairs. And I didn't get one from here. Where have I missed them? Did I get the one from here? Oh, I missed this one. Was it just that one I've missed? I don't know. We'll find out. So one nails, four hairs, touch the other hair. Okay, I've missed another one. Maybe the rope on the other um, room with the rope pulley. This one. I think I might have missed this one. There we go. I think that's all of them. We'll find out when we get to the bottom. And then we'll uh, read that book and see what the truth of that situation is. Um, are they clones or something? Five hairs, another hair. Seriously? I missed another one? Okay, I definitely got this one. I definitely got this one. Oh, maybe I missed the, um, what is it? The one with the, oh, by the way, these are all like different rainbow colors, aren't they? This one. Scales. No. Apparently I didn't. Or apparently that's broken, I'm not really sure. Oh, this one, nothing left to do with this one. Oh no, the book! This book about the king. That was where I missed one. Okay. I may have broken the game slightly on that other page, where, um, the other page, the other level, where there's still, like, a box when I interact with the scales. Like a text box. So there, there shouldn't be. I broke the game slightly. But yeah, these are all, like, rainbow colours, so it makes sense that there's, like, seven hairs that I need. Because this is red. And... This should be the last one. Ta da! Okay. Now let's go have a proper look. Down into the spider webby area of doom. Hmm. But yeah, there's, there's definitely something going on here. Um, and also, there's an extras menu where um, this is important present. A bald woman holding a baby. So maybe it wasn't just the one clone. Like maybe she didn't just have the baby, maybe she kept the woman and kept making babies, you know? Cause like there's one there, there's one there, there's whatever that is. Alright, let's read this. Looks like a diary. It reads. I couldn't do it. Even if they're not viable, they look too much like her. I just couldn't. And Lavender, she must never know what I did. What do you mean? They look too much like her, even if they're not viable. What? Let me think that through again. The diary reads, I couldn't do it. Even if they're not viable, they look too much like her. Okay, I just couldn't. And Lavender, she must never know what I did. So, she couldn't do something to these because they look too much like, I assume the original mother. And Lavender must never know. But Lavender's found out. That one has a beating heart though. I think. I think that's what that is. 
What is it? It's an embryo. Makes sense now where we've got a potion where we're making something up out of um, eyes and bugs and all sorts else. So we've already seen this ending. Yes? Mother, what did you do? So it came to this. Yes. Yes. I don't understand. Why? Why this? I don't expect you to understand. Understand what? What is happening here? I'm sorry, Lavender. But I'm going to stab you now. I don't think we'll have any more birthdays together. So, was that... Was Lavender the original baby? Or... Was Lavender just one of a bunch of clones one that actually worked I don't know so let's go back to the title screen and let's put in um, present because that was the name on the um, painting okay that's what accepted now what? <gasps> oh. Wait, what? Oh, me? I'm the mascot for Clockwork Prince. Needless to say, I'm not an in-game character. Talk to my clones if you want thoughts on the game's development. They will comment on whatever is nearby. Oh, that's cool. I found out I began the Hundreds of the Hollow and got inspired by it. Despite the difference in genre, I liked how it turns into fairy tale into a small game. As I already spent about a month on a project I couldn't finish, I instead started working on a game with the same basic idea, a short fairy tale game. That's cool. Okay. Lavender, a young girl who's raised in a tower isolated from the outside world. Rosalie, a witch whose life is not rose-tinted. Uh, Lily, a young woman who would do everything for her child. Okay, so my hair does actually appear to be blonde. Florian, a young peasant who fell in love with Lily. It's fair. Ooh, book here. Book on the table reads, in the room to the right you can view all the paintings found inside the game. Yeah, I see these. These are these are cool. Uh, making the paintings for the game was something that I wasn't sure I could do. Since this game was made for a jam, I had to work really fast. But in the end, I'm happy I could include them. Yeah, they're cool. So... The nurturing mother. Um, it's interesting. It's in, it's definitely interesting. Um, what do you two have to say for yourselves? Do you want to look at the game's CGs? No. I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. I'll come back to that in a second. Do you want to listen to the game's music? No. I'll uh, come back to that in a bit. Ooh, the puzzles. The puzzles were challenging, but fun to create. I learned a lot while making them, which will definitely help my future projects. Yeah... The puzzles were good. The plant puzzle. Puzzle with the player to grow plants in the correct order. Probably has the worst puzzle design of the entire game, as the correct order cannot be deduced without trial and error. This is true. These were good. I like this one. Basically a variation on the puzzle where you push a block through a maze. This time around, the goal is to get the statues in the right place. The one thing I made it harder was choosing the type of floor patterns to use. Though since the statues make more sense when aligned a certain way, I trusted my players to catch on to the scene that the statues poses hinted at. I didn't. I did have to trial and error that a bit. This was pretty simple. The, um, the, yeah, I already figured that out. Like, the, the thing that you have to push around, push around. It's much rather simplistic. Felt it tied in well with the story chapter depicted on that floor. The puzzle I finished making the fastest. This one, this was a pain to solve, but not because it was hard. It just took ages. It's easy. Yep. It, there's no picture to complete. Only pieces fit inside the rings on the board. It was relatively easy to make. Oh, okay. But it just takes ages to do. This was fun. The scale puzzle. One of the more challenging to design. Wasn't sure how to execute it, but yeah. That's cool. Because in RPG Maker's limitations, I made five different parallax images. Making the puzzle book free was a real challenge, I bet. Because of the sheer amount of event instances it required. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at these CGs. Yes. Press confirm key to stop looking at the CG. Press cancel to leave the CG menu screen. Oh, so these are the, like, the, the like, pictures. Those were, those were cool. I liked the, um, 
Oh wait. So wait, is there more? Is there more towers? Like more towers, more um. Oh no. That's that's just the just the two endings. But that's the picture of them hugging. That's the picture of the witch just being a witch. And then there's the picture of the witch stabbing Rapunzel, or Lavender in this case. But yeah, it was an interesting concept overall. I quite liked it. I like the idea of um, there being like, um, I guess a fairy tale and a happy ending, but buried behind the happy ending, a spooky ending. That's that's pretty cool. That's an interesting concept, and it's a really really nicely put together game. The puzzles were okay. They weren't too challenging. They weren't too easy. And I like the fact that it you chose like you know Rapunzel was the game chosen to turn into something creepy because there's already an element of creepy to it. Not even like encountering like um, the game, the game, the. Uh, Disney version of Rapunzel. Even the Disney version of Rapunzel has some definitely dark um, elements to it. But the original story of Rapunzel, where like the witch pushes the lover, the love interest, the prince, out the window, and he's like blinded by thorns, and then the, the like Rapunzel herself has to cut off all of her hair and go through the desert looking for him and stuff. It's a very dark story. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. Uh, leave. No, leave, leave the bonus room. We'll go back to the credits. So yeah, that was that was really cool. That was really cute, really interesting, really different, and I quite liked it. So I hope you guys did too. If you did, give the like button some love, hit the sub button if you're new, join the monkey crew, and I'll be back with the last game of 2017's uh, 12 Nights of Terror tomorrow night. I hope you guys have enjoyed this journey so far, and I'll be back with more very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!